using the programmable post. Obviously, if you, you've got to have some programming knowledge uh, for Python scripting to take advantage of this. Um, if you if you do have uh, experience with Python, you'll understand um, you know these uh, steps that we're talking about here. Uh, if you want to write a Python script, or if you obviously you got to have a Python script written uh, before you set it up uh, in your CAM plugin. We have an example Python script uh, here. Go to your select post processor uh, dialog. You don't want to use the legacy post option that will be selected by default select the use programmable post option that will enable you to define a um, python script as your post so once the programmable post is defined just like in the legacy post you need to tell it where the post uh, script file uh, is located and once you have it pointing in the right direction you'll see uh, the the python script listed and then in step uh, two, if you, you know, Rhino actually has um, uh, a menu item to actually get to Python scripting because Rhino, uh, as you know, if you know Rhino, it's very, uh, very good at, um, uh, you know, programming in Python for geometry or whatever. So if you go to the tools tab in Rhino, just select the Python script load your script and you can go ahead and edit it directly from inside of yeah Rhino. it's basically a python script editor uh, but you can have your own script editor it doesn't necessarily have to be tied to rhino there's a lot of third-party uh, editors out there mm -hmm. uh, that, that are pretty good as well so okay so what we see here in the middle dialog this is the python script editor and at the top of the uh the script you will see events what you can do is you can program events for every uh, event that occurs in the post processor. If you hey Don, do you want me to uh, yeah, talk about out. this? Yeah, yeah. You can do it. let me let me talk about this uh, because I have a little bit more knowledge on this. Uh, so uh, what this Python uh, programming system uh, is is a event driven architecture, if you will. It's been designed as an event driven architecture. So what that means is uh, when internally when the system is cycling through the internal toolpath, every time it hits uh, a certain interesting uh, item, for instance, a tool change, uh, that would be a very interesting thing uh, that you want to handle, uh, that will be treated as an event. And so when, when the toolpath hits, um, or rather the toolpath as it's cycling, the system as it's cycling to the internal toolpath hits a uh, uh, rapid motion that'll be considered an event. So whenever there's something interesting happening in the uh, toolpath, an event will be triggered. And what uh, Don is showing here on the right side, the third uh, where it's labeled number four, uh, that's the help file that lists all the events that are handled. Uh, so for instance, if you uh, if you look at the event uh, when the spindle speed on spindle speed is an event. So whenever uh, in the toolpath you're setting the spindle speed. The feeds and speeds dialog. You set up a spindle speed, and it's written out to the toolpath. And as the system is posting, when it hits that uh, spindle speed line in the toolpath, it'll trigger that event. And then, when that event is triggered in your Python script, you can handle that event in any which way you want. Uh, so that's what uh, the Item that's labeled number three uh, displays. Um, there's on rapid motion as the event uh, that's being handled. And there uh, we're doing certain things. We're actually counting. In this particular case, we're actually counting the number of uh, linear motions that were being output. We're incrementing it. And then we're actually uh, outputting the, uh, the format. We are creating the format that we want output. So that's what that event does. So. Uh, this way, we can control the output based on all all the various events that we encounter as the system is uh, traversing the internal toolpath. So it's a very powerful system, and there's lots of neat things we can do because uh, the Python program uh, programming um, architecture expands the scope uh, of what we can actually do with this uh, post processors. But at the same time, uh, with all that power, uh, it is quite complex. Uh, so we wouldn't recommend you to start looking at uh, creating, writing your own uh, Python posts. 
Uh, obviously, we don't offer support for Python uh, programming, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, we're not, uh, I mean, we can get swamped with uh, the Python post uh, support. So uh, what we typically do is if you need something uh, out of the ordinary that we cannot handle with our SPM or legacy posts, uh, that's, uh, that would be considered a candidate for uh, the Python po programming post. Uh, that's that's where we would write a, a programmable post, and uh, you can talk to us, and then uh, we can help you write one. And it's it's actually a paid uh, service, uh, the Python post. Uh, we will write one, make sure it works on your machine, uh, and get that installed. So, hopefully, that gives you an overview of the Python programming uh, programmable post that we have in 2022. All right, Don. And again, uh, it, as Joe mentioned, if you got any questions about this, just um, you can ask us now. Oh, we're actually running a little late, Joe, so I'm going to get right into the demo here. If you want to load that part, Don, that'll be good. Okay, yeah. Let's go load the uh, file for the programmable post. Yeah, so what we want to show you here is a five-axis post that we've written for an Italian machine tool maker uh, called Baki. And uh, this is for a post processor that does index machining. Uh, so if you just want to show the toolpaths, uh, Don, Flatland, and then go down and show display the toolpaths for each of the operations. Okay. So, people. so let's go to the post. Just, no, just select, no, 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 just select the operations. I want to see the toolpath. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the toolpath over there. Yeah, and then we're doing a pro, sort of like a profile uh, operation around that uh, part. And this is done in three axis. And then we are indexing. Uh, and then we are, yeah, on the other side, we're doing the pocketing after index machining. Uh, so if you want to uh, open uh, the post processor dialog and we can show them how it's set up. Uh, here we are doing a, a selected, the, we have selected the use programmable post rather than the uh, legacy post. And then uh, we have selected the Baki uh, post there. And then, um, yeah, just post it. Just post, post an opera. The entire yeah, setup? Like, yeah, you can post the whole thing. There we go. Say no. Okay, so here, this particular post had a special uh, challenge because um, once you uh, set the setup uh, properly uh, or uh, oriented the setup, uh, the G code motions had to use U and V for X and Y. I mean, you can see the UVW for X, Y, Z, uh, while if it's in the standard um, operation mode, then you normally would use X, Y, and Z. Uh, so this was not being, we could not handle this in our legacy post uh, because, um, you know, most machines use X, I mean, almost all machines we run into use X, Y, and Z. Uh, so we had to write this special post that creates the, uh, only in the rotated uh, setups, uh, we output our toolpath motions as U, V, and W. So this is an example of where you would use a, a programmable post, something spe special like this. So, yeah, I think we run out of time. So if uh, one thing I also wanted to note is if you have any special requirements, um, you, you know, always drop us an email and support. And we do, some of these are can get pretty complex, and so these are paid services, uh, apart from uh, actually the uh, the amount of, uh, you know, what you paid for the product. Uh, these are extra services that uh, we will charge uh, for you. So obviously the more work we do, uh, we need to get paid for that as well. So uh, I just wanted to put that out to make sure that uh, these are not easy. Uh, the, these require, uh, our, you know, experienced developer to look at and, and output, so.